Thanks for being present. My name is Kelly Tavares. Some of you were here present with me in the previous tour. Thanks for thanks for those of you who joined and who are new and doing your first tour with me. Is there anyone here who hasn't been like to, uh, done a tour with me before? I am Kelly Tavares tour guide from my Rio Encantos company, Rio Encantos. And I'm here on Hey Go, sharing a lot of our Afro-Brazilian indigenous culture through our history, acknowledging the untold parts of our history that we don't get on the history books in general, in our schools or institutions of knowledge. Thank you so much, Afua, Lydia, Essen, Kate, Brenda, Judith, and Anne, or Anna, for being present here with me, okay? Hi, Luigi. Grazie per ritornare qui. Well, here is my bag, and I am one, this bag is from the Institute of New Blacks, which is from the same child, the same that I'm wearing this shirt from. I'm a tour guide certificate here, qualified tour guide in Brazil. And this shirt is from the Institute of New Blacks Memorial for the people who died in the slave trade from the transatlantic slave trade in Brazil. Of the Cemetery of the New Blacks located here in the region. And later on, I will give another tour telling a little bit more of that part of the, our history. Now, you are, hi Iris, thanks for joining, at the session of our tour, talking about the women of Ashe. And for those of you who don't know what that means, I can be telling you about what that's gonna be about, of black women, non, in a prejudicial way as the black magic women. And we'll be talking about a little bit of who were some of these women here in Rio de Janeiro, in Brazil, and maybe from some of the backgrounds as well. Hi, Zara, Alan, and Iris again. Second time with you and very happy for. Thank you, Tony, for, for saying that. Thank you so much. Well, from this circuit that is uh, shared here on, the, on, the, on this bag, there is the Salt Rock, a Pedra do Sal, Largo São Francisco da Prainha. We are now exactly at the Largo São Francisco da Prainha. And what does that mean? The square of the little beach. Well, I lead here in the port zone of Rio uh, the many tours related to our black history, telling the history of Afro-Brazilian religions, samba music, carnival street party groups, the women of Axé, the cemetery of new blacks, and we had earlier today the cemetery of church, Santa Rita Church, where the new blacks or the black people who weren't sold in the complex, the market complex here in the 1800s and the 1700s, they were buried in the Santa Rita Church surroundings, around the church. Now here, we will talk specifically about these women who were able to arrive, survive, and thrive, and which are still alive, many of their generations today, here to share their faith and their stories. Oh, cool, Lydia, good to know. All right, and you know what, Lydia? In Sao Paulo, there are other guides from our, uh, uh, Heri from our Black History Network who lead the Black History Tours in Sao Paulo. So when you go visit your family there, please look after the Guia Negro, Guilherme, from the Black Guide on, in Sao Paulo, or the Black Bird Travels in Sao Paulo. There are amazing guides there as well. And I work in a partnership with this global network of guides leading Black History Tours around the globe. And um, that is an universe on itself because they acknowledge the untold histories of our ancestry, which are connected with everybody's histories since everybody in all times, and especially now 
in the modern times is connected somehow with the modern slavery. And it's important to acknowledge that because either were like Europeans uh, or North Americans or even some African people uh, financing this trade and uh, making this happen for profiting over selling human souls or either then being exploited and killed in this process of 380 years of slavery. Brazil received its biggest amount of people with millions of people being more than 40% of the population being brought from the different places of Africa to Brazil. So later on today, uh, I think after my lunchtime, I'm here at a restaurant where I will tell also about the traditions of this restaurant and I will lead a tour about that topic. But now, women of Ashe. All right, so I'm going to switch the camera to just give you a nice 180 of the surrounds of how it's configured right now. And then I will walk around this square to show you and tell you some of these stories of what was one of the slave markets of the complex of the slave trade in the port area. Thanks, Mary, for joining. My name is Kelly Tavares, tour guide of Rio Encantos, my own agency, focusing on Hego, mainly on the Black History heritage. And this is Black History Month in the U.S. So Black History should be acknowledged every day, every month. So please let me know where are you speaking from and when is Black History Month in your country? In Brazil, it's in November. And this is part of another tour that I give here in the Little Africa, where I tell why it's in November. Okay, and I can also answer that later if you want. I will go with your interests, okay? So your questions and comments are really important to build up on the top of your interests and keep you engaged, delivering the best experience possible. So also, I will be aware if you are there still with me and if I'm keeping you engaged, okay? So please help me out with that and also letting me know if the sound and the quality of the video is all right or if it's getting pixelated, then I will move on trying to find the best place to be with you. For those of you who are new on Hego, uh, here you have cool resources on your map. We will go now on about 25 minute tour in about Women of Ashe. And here you can follow a map if you click on the map button to know in which part of Rio are we at. Hi Iris, thanks. So we are celebrating Black History Month. Also follow up for Sayuri Koshima tours in Salvador, Bahia. Follow her profile and have other uh, tour guides of South America who will be engaging with the celebration of Black History Month as well and in the Americas. So here we have other resources to, such as the tip button, which is really important to help me pay my bills and move, keep moving forward here with you on Hegel. So I appreciate that. It's not mandatory, but if you are generous and you share your love, that's going to fulfill my heart with bliss and knowing that I am on the right track with you here, Hegelers, okay? I lead live tours, walking tours in the city, and this is an area where I lead, I've been leading tours since 2013 when I came back from the U.S. from a scholarship that I got to do my master's in community arts management at the University of Oregon in Oregon, Eugene. So when I got back here and I wanted, I knew I was doing the right thing to reconnect uh, with my roots learning more and more about my own history and sharing that with locals, creating, generating an impact among other Black history guides around the world and in Brazil, working in a collaborative way. So I highly recommend you check Tatiana Zaraujo, uh, uh, uh tours here. And also Danas, she will make other, it's another framework here in the port area with the Tomorrow Museum and the Street Art Museum. Tours that I also lead, but I never compete with them. I am a collaborative person 
and I need to fight against the capitalistic mindset of competing since we're all together and we all need to work for education and reparation of the harms of our societies throughout time. We need to unite and work collaborative to make it big, to spread our voices and our messages and to change this world. Thank you, Grace, for being here. Grace is an amazing South American tour guide who has just joined and she also leads the street art tours in Argentina, going to flea markets and acknowledging black history, women's history, and the history of different artists who make a difference in our world through their art. Today, our tour will have about 20 minutes and it talks about the black magic women or the women of Ashe. And before anything else, this tour also talks about a sad chapter in our history, which lasts 380 years of slavery, but also acknowledges the legacy of black women. And the idea is to break any prejudice you might have around the black magic women and their faith. So let's understand a little bit. So please ask your questions anytime. I'm not really embarrassed. If I don't know the answer, I will just research more. I've been doing this for since 2013 and I don't know anything. The more I research street art, coffee history, cachaça history, black history, art history, I just figure out that I don't know anything. So the idea is to be challenged by your good questions, maybe of your caring hearts, and then I will dive deeper and deeper inside of this knowledge, okay? Thank you so much. If you look around the square we, where we are, is the Little Beach Square, or Largo São Francisco da Prainha, one of the stops of our Black History Tours in the port area. And the buildings you see around, soon I will stand up and I will show you from closer distance. Now I'm just giving an, uh, an overview of what was a slave market and what it was, it had a gallop and a place of torture. Now in the center of the square, and I'm gonna get closer to that in a minute, uh, is the statue of Mercedes Batista. So I will tell you the legacy of this black woman who was the first black ballet dancer of the Municipal Theater of Brazil, who had traveled New York City and engaged with the black movement in the US and who got back to her roots as I did in order to bring the legacy, spread the word and launch the first Afro-Brazilian a black dance, Afro-Brazilian dance schools in Brazil, leaving a legacy that is alive until today with many of her pupils teaching many youngsters from all over. So I will tell you about yesterday and tomorrow's trends that the women of Ashe had launched. And here is a woman of Ashe just joining our tour. Bom dia, Sayuri Koshima, another tour guide from South America, Brazil. She is a great guide in Salvador, Bahia, and many of you, I'm sure, are aware of this woman of Ashe. Sayuri Koshima, a tour guide in Salvador, it has already many followers on Hego, and she is my master and my, who is a real master, a person who empower other people, other women to fight, to work with a good cause and with the heart and all Ashe, all the good vibrations of her life to make the best they can. And Sayuri is one of these women. Sayuri Koshima, a great woman. Thank you so much, Sayuri. And let's go stand up. I gave you uh, an overview of a day when here in the, when in the port area, they are on this from Friday, from Wednesdays to Sundays, this place gains a lot of these tables and umbrellas on the square. It's where the gastronomic culture is spread in this area to honor different dishes that were created by the very women of Ashe in the port area. And here's where, again, Sayuri and I will connect with our cultures because many of the women of Ashe in Brazil, they came from Salvador to Rio de Janeiro. They came from the plantation farms in the, in the interior of uh, Rio de Janeiro and from Minas Gerais and other states, 
from the sugar mills to establish themselves in what was the capital of Brazil on that time in the 1800s. They were women entrepreneurs, they were mothers of saints, they were religious leaders who were developing music and a connection, religious and spiritual connection with their gods and goddesses, the Orishas, to spread their knowledge among the people and to bring hope through the food, through their love, through their will to survive and to thrive as we're meant to be tables and umbrellas. So an honor to Black History Month. Go back to your past and get what you yours is yours. Acknowledge your ancestors and the here represented by the phoenix that goes to its origins to spread the word about the history in order to enlighten the paths of its people. And the Sankofa symbol will help us free our minds to bring other perspectives in our lives. Today, I'll be also sharing about Aunt Lucia, our beloved art educator here, and a woman of a chef from Bahia who lived her life in Rio de Janeiro and who created her art, which is present in many of the museums and modern art museums here in Brazil. And also, she 